you are welcome to my channel in this video we are told to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in orthographic projection now for better understanding i would like to reproduce that particular figure at the top right hand side of the screen so that we'll have a better view of it on the working sheet, right? So this is what we have here. Now, I have reproduced the figure in isometric. I have redrawn that figure here, right? If you want to know how to reproduce the figure in isometric, you can just click this link at the top right corner of the screen here, and you'll be able to reproduce this in isometric. Now, the next thing is the question says we should draw this in first angle projection, right? So when you are told in first angle projection, the first thing you will do is to draw your axis, x, y axis. So if I come here, I can easily just draw this this way. Let me just draw this this way. This is the x. Then I'll do for the y. This way. You see, this is the first thing you do. Now, at this point where they meet, right, this is your X and this is your Y. You're going to measure 10 millimeter or 5 away. So, let me just do 5. Measure 5 millimeter on your meter rule or 10 any one of your choice. You mark all 5. You mark down 5. You mark left 5. And you mark right five. So when you've done that, you take your rule and you draw an horizontal line this way. Also here too, you draw another horizontal line here this way. And you draw a vertical line here too. Two, let's pull on here too. You can see that? That is the four lines that we have. Nothing must touch the center line. So let's start. That's the first thing you do in isometric because this is what you actually need. Now, if you look at where the arrow is pointing from your diagram, right? Look at the diagram here. This is where the arrow is what is pointing. It's pointing in this direction. All good. So if you're looking at this direction means that since we are drawing a first angle projection, means our just like in the previous video, our front elevation will be at the second quadrant or at the first quadrant. So I like making use of what the second quadrant. This is the first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant, fourth quadrant. Now if you look at this point here, what will you see when you look at this point? Like you are reflecting this direction on your on your mirror, or you are casting a shadow on the wall. Now let me draw out that wall. Like, let me show you what you see. You're going to see everything here. Let me see. Let me call this side. Let me call it A. You see all these four points here. Looking at it perpendicularly, right? Looking at this side. So let's see what will happen. Is that the king? Now if you look at it closely, you're looking from here and it's making us understand that there is a pathway here, right? There's a place that is cut out from this figure. How will I know that way? If I project here to this point here, this is where the way is here. But I cannot see it when I'm looking from this direction. So what will I do? I'm going to draw a hidden line from that point. Instead of the normal visible line, I'll draw a hidden line using dot dot as in dash 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 evenly distributed so this is what i'm going to see looking at that point a now here you're looking at let me call it to be what b is this side here b right but because of it is hidden that's why i'm using hidden line to show this part here are we together 
Now we move. So this is what we are going to draw at. This is our front elevation because that is where the arrow is pointing. This is what we are going to draw at this point here. So let's do that and see. So what is distance from here to here? From here to here is the same thing as saying from here to here. Which is the same thing as saying from here to here. The same distance. And that is what? 60. So I'm going to measure 60 from this point here. So from here to here is given to be 60. Let's see. Yes, 60. This is 60. And I should be able to take in that 60 point from this point. This is the 60 we have here. You can see that? Now, after doing that, what is the height? The height from here to here is in the same from here to here, and that is what? 20. So, I'm going to measure 20 as my height here. From 1 to 2 is 20. So this is 20. I'm just taking it. Then I use my square square. So before that, I can just use this to take this up a little bit to show me where I'm going to stop. Then I can now use this to close it up before I can now bring this down. You can see that now the next thing is to show this hidden line here distance from here to here is in the same distance from here to here which is in the same here to here and here to here also which is what 10 so i'm going to measure 10 too it's 10 so i'll just use my hidden line to close that up you can see that so we have successfully drawn out the front elevation. Now the next thing is the plan. So in first angle production, the plan is always under the front elevation. So let's see how the plan will look like. Looking at it from the top, right? So if I look from the top, let me just briefly show you what we will see. So this is what we have here. When you're looking at the top, you're going to see B. Let me call it to be B and here over what B. This is C beside is C. This is D and here is also what D. These are the things you are going to see looking at it from the top, and that will call they will call it the plan. So we're going to replace it, the plan should be under here. So what will I do? I'm going to project this point downward. I'm going to project this point downward from here and I'll project here downwards too now what is the thickness if from here to here is equal to from here to here so I'm going to thicken it from this point I'm just going to draw what I have here at this point here so I'll thicken it that way we're going to see we'll stop here you can see that and what is the thickness from here to here, which is the base here, here to here, and which is intended from here to here, that is about 35. So I'm going to measure 35 from 0 to this. This is 35 here, starting from here. So I can just easily thicken it. So that is where I'm actually going to. You can see that. Then I'll take this to the end. This point, you can see that, and um, the next thing I'll do is we know that from here to here is from here to here, which is anything I'm saying 10. So, the end to this point, I'm going to measure 10 at both ends. So, from here to here, I measure 10, and from here to here, also, I measure 10. These are the points I'll just draw. To touch here, or draw to touch here, and I'm going to close them up. Right, this is what we have here. So I have reproduced, I brought this 
capacitor. So this is what the plan, right? The plan is always under the elevation, front elevation, right? So if it's in third angle, the plan will be on top and the front elevation will be down. That is the difference. So here, I will use my 45 degree set square to draw an inclined line from this point here where the X and Y axis meet. I'll just draw a line this way. You can see that? Then I'll project all these points to touch the line. To this point. To this point. To this point. Right? Then I'll just draw this to be the highest point here. So whatever I'm drawing must not pass this line. So if I do that, I'll now project all these points upward. So this will come to touch this. This also from this point. You come to touch this. Then this too. Come to touch this. You can see that? So now we're looking at it from the end view, looking from the front here. So if you look at this very well, let's see what we're going to have. That is the E here. So this is F. So you have the word F. So in here, let's call it G. So you have the word G. These are the things you see when you're looking at it from the side. Right? We call it the end view. So we're looking at it from here. So that's what I'm going to replace here. What I have here, I'm going to draw it here. So when it's, it's already there. If you trace it, this is it here, and this is it here also. And I'll just close it up. You see that? Look at what we have here. So we've successfully reproduce this. This is what they want you to do, right? I'm only using this to explain this to you. So when you are told to draw in first angle, this is what you are told to do, right? So if you have um, found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Thanks for watching.